Zep. He's his own new alien species, and you could tell just from the size of him. He's the muscle of the group, but he's, he's not just a dumb thug. We always wanted him to have a different angle. I think the first thing that catches people off guard is Zeb's voice. The thing they don't really realize about Zeb is that he is a well-trained honor guard. He, on his home planet, would have been revered for his fighting skills and well-educated. Zeb actually is pretty articulate and witty and funny. Um, that sort of juxtaposed with what he looks like makes for an interesting character. All right. 107. Ezra. Big as he is and, and educated as he is, he's not beyond mixing it up with Ezra. He's not beyond getting wrapped up in these childlike chases and games that Ezra kind of goads him into it. They're just fighting all the time and they don't get along. Uh, they do work together. They have to work together a lot. But then there's also a really true bond between them. You'll see that as the show kind of evolves where Ezra starts sort of as the outcast, and then he kind of becomes involved in this family, and Zeb sort of plays that big brother role to him. Zeb loves to beat up stormtroopers. It's his favorite pastime. Take two stormtroopers' heads and just take them and <laughs> bash them together. <laughs> <laughs> we kind of wanted to have a lot of fun with him because he gets to do a whole lot of action kind of things, and we really get to use him in that way. And you'll see when he's fighting that he gets very physical. He uses his feet and his hands and all kinds of things. He was from a military background so he is gonna have military style moves and things so similar to martial arts kind of stuff he'll be probably the one who does that kind of stuff the most I kind of like that he will take the quickest path or figure something figure something out really quickly um, to get it done whether it's use a big weapon or his fist if someone's trying to pick a lock on a door he'd be the first one to just kind of walk past you and kick it open oh. Yeah, he's fun to watch that way. It's just going to be exciting to develop him and his bizarre new species and to explain to the audience where he came from and the detail of the personal nature of what happened with him.